Hey, what's up guys? JD Vim here back with you for another Call of Duty Black Ops 3 daily gameplay video and commentaries here. If you guys are new around here, please rate, subscribe, drop a comment, follow me on Twitter and like the Facebook page where both links are down below. Tell your friends and tell your family and come and join the JD Venom Nation here on YouTube. And today's gameplay commentary is not about Black Ops 3. I want to talk about, well, it's in kind of in relation to Black Ops 3, but more about Infinite Warfare. And if the Activision, not really um, Infinity War, the, the developer who's going to be behind making the game of Infinite Warfare, but it's really more of Activision's choice. Could we see Activision going the route as they went with uh, Advanced Warfare and also Black Ops 3 of having supply drops? Now, I'm going to answer the question from the point of Activision, not from the point that I want to see. Now, by all means necessary, this has not been confirmed that we are getting supply drops in Infinite Warfare. There has been no, there has really been no speculation about it. Well, there has been speculation, but it has really been like no concrete evidence that we are getting supply drops in Infinite Warfare. This is just me, just want to bring up a conversation. That's all. Yeah. So you know, if if it happens, you know, then whatever. Uh, personally, I don't want to see it. But do I think that it is going to happen? I'm going to say yes. Yes, I think we are going to get some form of supply drops in uh infinite warfare reason being and again like i said i do not agree with this whatsoever i do not want i do not want supply drops in infinite warfare but do i think we're gonna see it yes i do and the reason why is because it makes activision and infinite warfare money period it makes the company money so even though i don't agree with it if you were to run a company and you see something that can enhancely give you more money for your company. Would you do it? Yes or no? I think majority of everybody unanimously will say yes. I will say yes to that. If I had the opportunity to make more money for my company, for my family, for my friends, you know, for, for anybody that I, you know, want to try to look out for, would I do it? Yes. And that's what Supply Drops does for, for the employees uh, and, you know, and the, I guess like the people who represent Activision and Infinity uh, Ward, who's going to be the developer of the game. I don't agree with it. I really don't agree with it. But I think we are going to see it because of that, because it's going to make them more money and it's going to, um, you know, help out, I guess, help out their business uh, even more. If you want to say it's going to actually help out the business. But nevertheless... Um, that's gonna be something to look out for, um, when, you know, when, uh, I guess around, I'll probably say around October, September before the game comes out. Um, so like I said, I don't agree with it, I don't agree with it at all, but I think we are gonna see it, unfortunately, uh, coming into Infinite Warfare. Now the question is, are they gonna make it to where that is gonna be like Black Ops 3 where you do get your cosmetic items and also your pay to win weapons, or is it just gonna be cosmetic? Or is it going to be just pay-to-win weapons? Or is it going to be something else? I'm going to say it's going to be all of that. All of the above. So we're going to get, like, our camos. We're going to get, like, um, I guess if we do get, like, different people to play as. Uh, different body pieces and things of that nature. We can, you know, create your own guy. Things of that nature. But we also maybe gain weapons, too. Out of a supply drop. Now, are they going to go with the route of, like, getting crypto keys? Or, or you know, not, not exactly crypto keys. But, like, some type of uh, currency system where you are able to um you know where, where you are able to trade those in for items and that's mo the most likely reason on what can happen possibly but in my personal opinion though again i do not want to see it guys i'm right there with you i i don't think it's good for call of duty at all I, i'm right there with you 100 percent i don't want supply drops at all but if we do see it you know, if, if it's gonna come, at least what what do you want out of it, at least? You know what I mean? I mean, if, if we have no choice but to have supply drops, let's say, oh, you're gonna get supply drops. You have no other option. You're gonna get supply drops. What do you at least want in it? And at least for me, if it comes down for me, at least things of nature like the taunts. I like the taunts. I like the cosmetic items. Um, I kind of wish that you can get weapons out of supply drop that does not change the actual attributes 
that will copy. It was so basically it's like a clone. So basically, we got the KM44, right? Good, good weapon, right? What, what if you can get an AK-47 out of the supply chest? It doesn't change the actual, um, the cosmetics of the gun. Kind of like the knife. You know how you have the knife, then we have, like, the, the baseball bat, the uh, iron jam, and, and all these other crazy, you know, cosmetic uh, upgrades to the knife. Same thing for the weapons. That's what they should have done in the first place. And all, and all the new weapons, they should have done, like, how they've done the Peacekeeper in Black Ops 2 that is just free. Free to have. That's why I think they should have done. In my personal opinion, I think I think that would have been a lot better if they would have done like that instead of the current system that we have right now. Now, a lot of people who watch me say, "Well, why are you complaining? You have most of the weapons anyway." Well, yeah, that's true, but still, like, I still had to, you know, pay for some of those, and I'm not ashamed to admit it because it's my fucking money. I can do whatever the hell I want to do with my fucking money. Not saying that you have to go buy, you know, um, buy cop points, but it's my fucking money. You can't tell me what to do with my own money. Um, you know what I mean, and, um, you know, and, and plus as well, since I am a live streamer, and since I am a, a Call of Duty channel, well, not really Call of Duty channel, but since I do have a YouTube channel, I should say, um, yeah, I think you guys will like to see me get these weapons, so you can, just, so I can review them for you, and let you know if it's worth, actually, if you choose to buy and spend your own money, if it's worth to actually try to get out a supply drop or not. And nine times out of ten, even there are some good weapons out there like the HD40, like the FR, like the Shell Call. I will say don't spend your money for that, but I have to spend my money because I'm objective to do so. Since I am a YouTuber, I have to invest in my channel. But some people don't some people don't understand that because they don't do YouTube and they don't understand that. You know, or there's some people that, okay, I'll put it to you this way. There's some people that, that do YouTube, but they don't do it seriously. Like how I, how I do YouTube. You know, I have 3,000, you know, over 3,400 subscribers, you know, on my channel. I should at least, I think. But by the time I'm recording this video, I should be over 3,400 subscribers, hopefully. But anyway, uh, nevertheless, uh, the, the point I'm trying to make here is that, you know, supply drops itself, if we just get rid of it in general, you know what I mean? Uh, as far as, like, pay to win uh, supply drops, um, I mean, I don't really mind the cosmetic raw supply drops. When supply drops first came out for Black Ops 3, everybody loved it. Why? Because there was no pay to win weapons. <laughs> you know, everything was like just, you know, uh, armor, um, taunts, um, you know, just everything. You know, just, just everything that, you know, you can have in here. Variants, um, uh, you know, things of that nature. So, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think about this here. Um, I've been rambling on about this here for a long, long time here. But I think I think it's a good conversation. I definitely think it is a, a good conversation to bring up and to talk about uh, as well for you know for just call just Call of Duty in general for Infinite Warfare when that you know when it does come out. You know, so hopefully when Inf Infinite Warfare does come out, we don't have you know a crappy supply drop system you know where we have to depend on supply drops to get us bare weapons and i don't want that in call of duty games i don't but um but again guys leave me your thoughts down below leave me your thoughts down below if you want to if we like i said earlier if we have to have supply drops like you're, you're getting supply drops you have no fucking choice you're getting supply drops what, at least what do you want to see out supply drops look at that nice ripper ripper kills i got right there that was pretty epic got four in the right there <laughs> um just a little bit there on the gameplay but guys, I am going to go ahead and get out of here. I could be streaming later tonight. Also, as well, go to my Twitter. And uh, there's a recent poll that stuff. You may got to scroll down a little bit because I was uh, talking about the NBA draft last night a little bit on there. But I have a poll up. What do you want me to stream tonight? Do you want me to stream this game right here, Black Ops 3? Or do you want me to stream GTA 5? Whatever I have the most as at the end. Um, or like before I start streaming. Or at the end of the poll. The poll should be over before I start streaming anyway. So at the end of the poll, wherever I have as the most, I will be streaming that game for tonight. But guys, again, I am going to get out of here. Please rate, please subscribe, please drop a comment. And I'll see you guys later. You guys have a great, great Friday. Enjoy yourselves. Peace out.